my name is Becky. And we're the Story Girls. And today we have yet another concrete DIY for you guys. Concrete DIY! You guys have loved in the past when we did concrete DIYs, so we're gonna keep doing them. Why not? Why not? We bought a new load of concrete and we're, we're ready to go. Disclaimer, this video, this is the third time we've made this DIY in the last week. I don't know what it was. We could not get this right. It just didn't work. But if there's one thing you can trust now, it's us. <laughs> Two times failed concrete clock makers. We're gonna be champions at the end of this on how to make things that are concrete. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here is the correct way to make a concrete clock. To start, you'll need an old clock to take the clock mechanism out of. You could buy this piece new as well if you wanted to, but we got this one from the thrift store and it doesn't even hang straight. It's begging to be made over. Start by taking apart your clock. To take the hands off the clock, start by popping off the top button, and from there you should be able to gently pull off the hands. Each clock might be slightly different. You should now see a tiny nut screw holding on the back battery pack. Unscrew this and your clock should come apart. Now we're going to make our cement base. We're going to pour our cement into this box to keep the mess down. Line your box with freezer or wax paper with the shiny side up. Next, draw out how big you want your clock to be. We did ours 12 inches, so draw a point in the center and mark lines six inches out in all directions. This helps to draw a perfect circle. Now we're going to need to figure out how thick to make the clock. Take your clock battery pack and measure how thick it is from the back to half of the way up through the thread apart. This totaled to be about two centimeters. So taking some old cardboard, draw out strips two centimeters thick and cut them out. Now we're going to use the strips to create a mold for our clock. Using some tape, tape down the cardboard around in a circle. Make sure you're placing the tape on the outside so that we keep the inside smooth for our cement. Once you have it taped down, use long strips of tape to completely seal the cardboard to the wax paper. This will stop any cement from leaking out later. Once it's all done, it'll look like this. And now we need to make a box to create an indent for our battery pack to sit in. Measure the size of your box and make it as tall as just the battery pack of the clock mechanism. Ours was 1.5 centimeters thick. Your battery box should look something like this. Next, we're going to use a straw to mark out the space the bar on our battery pack will sit in. Mark a line on the straw half of the height of the threaded screw part. Ours was half a centimeter. Place the straw directly in the center of the mold and pour some hot glue inside to hold it in place. You'll also want to punch a hole in the center of your battery box big enough to slide snugly over the straw. Now it's time to mix the cement. We're using rapid set cement, but regular sand cement will work just as well. It'll only take longer to dry. The ratio for mixing cement is four parts cement, one part water. So we're adding two cups of cement and half a cup of water at a time and slowly mixing it together. It should end up to be a peanut butter consistency. Pour the cement into your mold. Fill it all the way up to the top of the mold and then slide your box down over the straw. Push it in all the way until you see the line on your straw. Your battery box shouldn't be touching the bottom of your mold. Shake the box gently to help the concrete settle and remove any air bubbles. Let the concrete dry entirely. Now onto our hands. We're using some wire cutters to trim off the little circle accents at the end of each hand that make it look a little bit dated. Then we're spray painting the hands as well as the top button with some gold spray paint. Once the concrete has dried, remove it from the mold. Some of our cardboard stuck to the back of our clock, but that's okay because it won't be seen. Slide the battery pack into the back. You should now be able to screw the little nut back onto the front to hold the battery pack in place. Add the hands back on in the order you took them apart and your clock is now complete. Hope you guys like that concrete clock tutorial. We love it. We're so happy that it turned out. It turned out amazing. Finally. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Um, and if you guys want more concrete DIYs, DIYs? I've never even, <laughs> what? Um, they're not lies. Are, are DIYs? DIYs. 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 Oh my God. If you guys want more concrete DIYs, make sure you let us know in the comments below because there's like an infinite, an infinite amount of things that you can make with concrete. Um, we've already done a couple. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you want to see the ones we've done already, linked below as well for you. Yeah, but we, we're, we're down to make more things. Once we have our bag of concrete, or in this case, our box of concrete, mm -hmm. uh, we're ready to go. Also, did you guys notice that we're starting to match our outfits to, to our DIYs? DIYs. <laughs> like, who are we? We're like, we're gonna do concrete today, so let's both wear gray. And we, we're gonna do like a, a wall one coming up where it's a white wall, and we're both wearing white. Yeah. 
Like, what? Are we okay? Is this normal? <laughs> I'm slowly becoming the DIY. We are the, one DIY. With the DIY. Oh my god. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, you should notice, that we have been vlogging a bit more recently over on our vlog channel, The Story Life. Yeah. And we kind of mentioned the clock fails in those vlogs as well because, like, multiple days we did these clocks and we were vlogging and it just didn't work. So you can go check that out for more. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed to our vlog channel. It's called The Story Life. And let us know if you guys like seeing more vlogs. We we're kind of debating whether we should just do more that are, I guess, a little bit less interesting because it's just our day, like day to day day, or just keep them to when we go and do like actual exciting things. We thought that you guys would want to just see like our lives yeah. as they are. When, a bit of both. When they're less exciting. But I mean, we vlog today. To guys. Yeah, we definitely can. <laughs> we're gonna vlog today. So, um, this is the morning if you can tell. We're like starting off the morning. We're gonna vlog today. Hope to see you guys over on our vlog channel and here more often make sure you like this video to tell us that you liked it and if you do love it make sure that you sub it and grow the little fam a little bigger um and we will see you guys in our next video all right bye guys bye, bye.